Yo, what's up? Sammy Lubke. Welcome to the crib here in uh, Truckee, California. Living in nice Sierra Meadows with a bunch of my homies. Let's go check out some snowboards. This is the uh, snowboard man cave. Got everything you need in here for a good time. So uh, here we go. Here's all my boards, the quiver I could pull up from the depths of uh, moving around. It's crazy life of hoarding boards, but that being said, I'm kind of like a one horse cowboy kind of guy. And these are kind of the boards that really like I rode all the time that I love to ride and uh, have the most fun on. So there you go. Yeah, so let's see here. We got, this was one of the first boards I really like started filming on that I truly loved and kind of had everything for me. It's the LibTech TRS with the C2 power banana on it. My first AK heli trips, I remember this was, you know, the first, first board up there riding, handled like a gem. Also kind of like one of the first boards I like really found when I was riding for LibTech that kind of had everything for me. Um, like I said, I don't like to switch it up too much. I like something that can do it all. And um, this kind of got me through like when I first started really filming and uh, all the way up into like the end of the standard years, this thing was my prime toy. Handled the steeps, it handled the deep and uh, it was playful, but still could just, you know, hold up the test of time. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, basically after I started riding for Jones, you know, I, I uh, really was kind of going through all the boards that I really liked um, and didn't like and kind of started riding the Mountain Twin. That was the most playful for me, something I could freestyle on and still cruise, but it still was a little bit too playful for my type of riding. So I ended up getting on the Ultra Mountain Twin when they came out with this thing. I want to say it was 2015 when I started riding this. Um, just prior to 2016 season where I rode in the tour, this ended up being the board I won the tour on, which is crazy because I had been doing it for four years. And finally, the first year on this thing, something clicked and helped me get through uh, and win a few titles on the Freeride World Tour. So that was a pretty special board for me. This thing is awesome. True, like, big mountain freestyle board. And then, uh, yeah, so this right here is the solution. 161, I believe. For me, when I, what I look for in a touring board is something that can withstand a lot of hours. Um, big tours, this thing is rugged and it's pretty much equipped to hit all types of conditions, whatever variable snow is thrown at you. Um, definitely more directional pow slayer, but thing handles beautifully in the corn and on the ice chunder, whatever, you know, whatever the mountains throw at you. But just for me in particular, this one is kind of just the go-to, love it. Stratos, this thing is super rad. I rode it in the park earlier this year and the pipe, and I thought it was stellar on those as well. It was landing switch, riding switch. The thing is really responsive, and it's got good float in the nose, a lot less work in the powder, and uh, it's really fast. I think a good board for anybody who likes to quiver up, put this one in the quiver with your big pow guns and your little freestyle jib boards, whatever, what have you. This thing is kind of right in between, but like construction's awesome. It's got the spoon nose for nice cruisy surfy turns. And, uh, but man, yeah, this one's really cool. I need to get more time on it. This is one I want to spend more time riding because I've liked it since the first day of it. Word, well, that's my quiver right there. Not massive, but uh, these are the ones that get the job done for me. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, see you guys out on the hill. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this little piece of information and yeah, rock on, peace out.